Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how fun these mini theory games are. They're leveled toolkits and there's seven games and they're ready-made for you. They're all laminated, cut out. They have all the materials like the little baby fishing pole for a fishy game. There's um, notes on the back of these fish and they fish for them. There's circle of fifths memory game which has pictures of key signatures and the name of key signatures to match. There's a mini 88 keys, which is a full size mini laminated keyboard and a pick cards. It comes with all the cards for you and it comes with all these little pieces. Um, so you can play with up to four players or just one on one and they pick a card and move on the keyboard and it's a race to the finish. And then there's mini intervals and um, it's just like fishy notes, but fish for intervals. And there's a minor version of the circle fifths memory game. So A minor and match the picture. And then there's a mini bingo game and it comes with all the little cards, the calling cards, which I have pulled out right now. It also comes with a mini write on, which I have given to a student. So I land, lend these games when they need a little extra practice or need some fun working on a particular concept, I lend these games out. So there's mini fishies, but level two, there's mini left on to work on your left hand only with key, um, with your notes and your finger numbers. There's a mini matching game. There's mini 88 keys level two, which is harder intervals. So it will say, um, do a, move a sixth interval or and there's also sharps and flats in that one, like move to an E sharp or move to an F sharp. And then there's mini fishy intervals level two, which are harder intervals. And then um, a matching game again for minors, but this is all focused on the flats. Level two is the flats, level one is the order of the sharps. And then again, I have, I'm using the mini bingo right now, but that's a level two mini bingo which is giving you the calling cards of just the pictures. So they have to look at the picture and know the name of it. Level one, it has both the name and the symbol. Level three has some unique ones in it that are a little more challenging. So these are just ledger line notes. This is a mini glissando, which is a shoots and ladders board. And I'll pull it out so you can see how fun it is. And they move from note to note on, the P on this. They start here, roll the dice, say they moved a three, they have to name that that's a B. Comes with all this, a, a marker, a, um, the pieces, everything. There's mini fishy intervals. There's mini, the, the circle fifths major, the circle fifths minor with the really hard key signatures. And then the level three bingo, again with all the calling, the mini bingo boards, there's four mini bingo boards and little calling cards, which just say the name of it. So they cannot see the picture of it. And then I pulled out mini triad roll because of how adorable this is. You have all major and minor triads in treble and bass clef. So you start up at this top, it says start, right there, start, if you can see that. And you pull, you roll the dice and you can only move on a one, two or three. So if I rolled a one, I would go here. If I rolled a two, I'd go one, two. And if I rolled a three, I would go one, two, and three. And whatever is in the window is what chord I have to play. If And then um, you could always just name the tonic too to make it simpler, or you could have them play the full chord progression or inversions if you want to make this more difficult. And it's super, super fun. And they try to beat a timer. So these are just ready-made fun um, theory games that are leveled. And I know you'll love playing these with your students.